Gray is here on the Blaze Radio Network. Good morning, Americans. It's Friday. And beyond that, it's Jeffy's birthday. <laughs> and headphone hey. day here at uh, <clears throat> the uh, Pat Gray Unleashed broadcast. What so, kind of day? Headphone day. Oh, yeah. okay. Headphone day. Stop locking yourself out of your office and uh, maybe you can get to your stuff. <clears throat> so how old are you today? A year older than I was yesterday. Mm. No, well, you're a day, day older than you were yesterday. yesterday. I know, I got it. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Math, a year older not the, than I, I was it. yesterday. A it, full no, year passed in the last 24 hours. It feels hours. like a whole year since yesterday. Well, uh, happy and birthday. Thank you, thank you. I appreciate it. And seriously, stop being an old woman. Tell us how old you are. Yeah. For real. Happy I, birthday, I Jeffy. Remember. You don't remember. I don't remember. How does someone celebrate a 150th year on the planet? <laughs> you know what's worse for him is if you actually had the hardcore proof uh, and said his actual actual age. That's That would eat him alive. <laughs> oh, we know what it is. I know, he's 61. Yeah, he's right there. It, it's, he's between 62. 60 and 62. Yeah, he is. Yeah. He is. He was in the fourth grade, no, eighth grade, in 1974. Okay, that's not a good barometer the because math. he was probably already 30 years old by that point. Held back 14 times. <laughs> exactly, yeah. Actually, I was held back 18 times, but it's okay. Oh, that's right. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> happy Friday, though. Man, happy Friday. Yeah. I I mean that. Uh, yeah. I mean that. Me too. Because I because. was thinking, driving in, that how much better it's going to get this mm. year. Yeah, than it was last year. Because we are only 10 days in to the Uh new administration Mm -hmm. that's running this country. It's not helping. And while it shouldn't be what we focus on, it is, and (laughs) it's only going to get better. You're right. It's only going to get better. Absolutely right. Look how much... Look how much... Fun mm, has already. happened in the last 10 days. A ton of fun. Right? Yeah. Oh, man. A ton. That's a party. Maybe two tons of fun have already happened. <laughs> uh, the president... Do, do we have the one we played yesterday when he's talking about the dictatorial measures? <clears throat> you have to be a dictator to do the executive orders like right, that. Right, way back in October when mm-hmm. he uh, made that point about uh, executive orders? Yes. Okay. Before actual speech. I think that was before audible speech. <laughs> I, I think yes. humans communicated with yeah, sort of hand it. signals and <laughs> grunts one of the earliest back recordings in october yeah. yeah i have this strange notion we are a democracy some of my republican <laughs> friends and some of my democratic friends even occasionally say well if you can't get the votes by executive order you're going to do something things you can't do by executive order unless you're a dictator we're a democracy we need consensus ah uh, ah uh. okay well you you would think okay why hasn't somebody asked about that you know, ask the Biden administration, Biden or his spokesperson or whatever. Well, they did. Well, good. Someone actually had the giblets to bring it up. And here is the logical explanation. The questions we were discussing at the start. Um, so I'm still trying to sort of reconcile this. Uh, daily, what are we at? Well, I think we're at 26 executive orders now and, and reconcile that with the, the campaign rhetoric because um, in October, Joe, uh, Joe Biden said there were limitations on the use of executive actions, mm-hmm. things you can't do by executive order unless you're a dictator. We're a democracy, we need consensus. Now, I, mm-hmm. I think you said earlier that some of these executive orders were being used to um, roll back some of the immoral things uh, that the previous administration had done. Uh, if you're calling these things pissed. immoral, is that seeking consensus and, and unity? And then <laughs> also, I mean, does it suggest that President Biden sees himself as perhaps a benevolent the longest question dictator? of all time. <laughs> well, well, I'm dictator. sure this wasn't your intention, but I think you took the president's comments a bit out of context. He was asked about uh, tax I can't reform. Take it. And, and whether that could be done via executive order during the interview with George Stephanopoulos, which you're referring to. That's not what he was talking about, but Well, I think, that, I think the question is pretty important context for everybody. And he said no. And the president also said during an interview with columnists uh, back in December oh gosh, that he didn't think people. executive action should be used for everything. <laughs> and that certainly is his point of view. Oh, but there are steps. Which is why he's done 37 of them. Some of the harmful, detrimental, mm. and yes, immoral actions mm-hmm. of the prior administration that he felt. Wow. 
because wow. he could not wait to, to wow. overturn. And that's exactly what he did. Now, any historian will tell you that he walked into the presidency at one of the most difficult moments in history. Okay. That required additional executive action I in see. order to mm -hmm. take get immediate relief to the American people. But he believes, oh, as his, as his law, as everybody knows how a bill doing? becomes a law, uh, is that in order to make action and policy permanent, you need to work with Congress. That's why he has also proposed a COVID relief package, mm -hmm. a big, mm -hmm. bold package. Some some say oh. very big. Um, I agree with that. Um, and also Do an immigration yeah. bill. He has, not, he has not held back or delayed putting forward legislation either. So uh, he's going to use the levers that every president in history has used, executive actions. Ah. But he also feels it's My important gosh. to work with Congress and not okay. just one party, That's but enough. both parties ah. together. No, she's not done, though. It was, was uh, she? she is, as far as I'm concerned. <laughs> circle back next time, Jen. Right. right. I will have to circle back on that one. Yeah, thank you. That is, that's just incredible bull crap. Wow. I, so much wow. there. It's, there is. It sure is. You don't even know where to begin. Uh-uh. Because, <laughs> ah, whatever. He was not talking only about tax breaks. And that's that's how they're presenting this. That's how uh, PolitiFact let him off the hook with that, too. Really? Oh, yeah, he's talking about the tax cuts. No, he's, no, not. he's not. No, he absolutely is not. So PolitiFact is a it flat out lie. PolitiFact, mostly true? It, mostly false? No, it's false. Con it's false. It's false that he was talking about being a dictator. Oh, right, right, right. How right, dare right. they even yeah. fact check this president? I know. Wow. Well, they're not really fact-checking the pre the president. No. They're fact-checking everybody who says uh -huh. that he told us he'd have to be a dictator to do what he's doing right now. Right. And so that's who they're fact-checking. They won't ever fact-check this president. Wow. This is absurd. And the American people, so many, at least half of them are like, oh, well, well, that's right. Context. Oh, are you are you talking about? Talk context. <laughs> talking about tax cut. <laughs> what? Really? So tax cuts are the only thing he can't do through executive order. <laughs> and it's such an extraordinary time that mm -hmm. he's just using the levers of power that every president has used. Yeah, George W. Bush in this amount of time, zero, zero executive orders. Well, what did Trump have, like 100, though? No, Trump had, uh, f was it four? In week one? Uh, was zero. It, what? Wasn't it Zero. No. No. Was it one? He had a no, few. No, he had no, a few. I had the list open. I, I thought it was under 10 anyway. It is. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. it's for sure. under. It's under five. It might even be one. Oh, you know what? It was Bush and Clinton had zero, I believe. But yes, everybody was single digits, though. And I and I got an updated tally. Now we're up to, uh, what, 32? I read 37. Thir 37? Morning. That's what I meant. 37, yes. I mean, it just... 37 <sighs> executive orders in a couple of days. That is un okay. You're not just using the levers of power that every president has used. <laughs> Lever. <laughs> I just, I just can't stand it. Seriously, man, he is just an empty vessel for radicals, and they are taking full advantage of that. And how do you, how do you come together with these people? How do you ever work with them? How they're, they're such liars and scumbags. How do you work with them? Well, you do what they want, and that's unity. Yeah, right. Exactly. You believe what they believe, and you do what they tell you to do, and then you're unified. Yeah. Yeah, that, that guy asking that question. I love how, because it was a very long question, of course, but he opened it up by getting a little dig in there. Like, uh, if he's claiming that the previous administration just had a bunch of immoral actions, how is that unifying? And right. It's on mm -hmm. with his executive order yeah she can't answer she doesn't no. answer that one that one's obviously ignored but it was such a long answer you may not have remembered <laughs> uh the first the first part of your question that you asked uh yesterday i think when your question <laughs> began uh <laughs> we're, we're only here for a couple hours man you want to get to it wow that's agonizing that was if glenn beck were in the press corps at the white house <laughs> yeah <laughs> wow that might be a longer question than glenn's ever asked maybe <laughs> <laughs> possible but i'm not sure Triple eight nine hundred thirty three ninety three. Also at uh, Pat Unleashed on Twitter. Apparently, we got some more gifts uh, sent to us. We've got that a generous sense. audience. Yeah, we do. These are great. Wesley D sent us medals for, for, for uh, surviving twenty twenty. Yeah, congrats Those to us. Nice. Oh, we ma really we cool. made it through the year, and he, he used uh, items around his uh -huh. house like uh, super glue and baby pens and stuff. And uh, uh, nice. There you go. I'm going to wear mine right. right now. So thank uh, you, Wesley. Hal Steelworks. Sent us these cool, I guess they're steel roses, since they're, they're steel works. Yeah, I, he posts I would assume. videos uh, online of him making this stuff. That's really and, cool. Uh, they don't. Huh. No, Jeffy, they're, they're, they're made out like of steel. They're not going to smell like a rose. It's a 
And here's a good thing. This can, this can never melt because steel doesn't melt. We found that out a long time ago, like 20 <laughs> years you. ago. Yeah. Remember? You, yeah. Uh, it's an important point. Steel does not melt. It's good craftsmanship, though. It looks good. It's, it's cool. very cool. Yeah. So that molten uh, flaming stuff that's poured into giant vats, I'm not sure what that is. No, that turns you know? into this? Yeah. <laughs> I don't oh. know what that is. Oh, oh! by the way, Pat, mm-hmm. uh, you and I, we got an uh, invitation to a wedding. I mean, oh. it, it was postmarked January 8th, but I just got it yesterday. Um, the wedding has passed, but you and I were oh, uh, invited to a January 23rd uh, wedding. So, was it in the DFW? Uh, yes. Uh, mm-hmm. Deanna and Justice, uh, congratulations on your marriage. Uh, oh. look, at that, look, at that, look at this, Pat. It says, it's seating for two. Mm. So you and I could have... Gone and had free food and mm-hmm. had a good time. Um, mm-hmm. Had hope- we received it in time, of course. Yeah, but... Uh, but uh, is there, my yours must have been it? lost in, uh, no, I said seating in for the mail. Two. That's uh, one, two. Mm-hmm. One, two. Sorry, Jeff. Hmm. One, two. I mean, maybe mine's coming. Yeah, maybe. Yeah. I mean, yeah. we only got ours yesterday. I don't so. know that right. they budgeted the buffet to have you visit. What does that mean? Mm. The that buffet? Means you eat that's, a lot. That's where you eat. What, what I think he's insinuating, <laughs> yeah, uh, Jeffy, is that you're overweight. overweight uh, is, is what I think the insinuation is there. So Absolutely was there. Oh. Yeah. And you are oh. slow. Uh, you're stupid. <laughs> yeah. And the steel <laughs> doesn't smell like a rose. No. Okay. Uh, Happy birthday. <laughs> Thank you. That's Thank right. You. It's his birthday. Already, already bludgeoned him practically to death. <laughs> Our uh, poll results from yesterday's poll, which you trust more right now? America's voting system or COVID vaccines? Ooh. I really expect a 50-50 on this. 81 to 19 COVID vaccines. Wow. Are trusted wow. More over the voting system. That's not good. No, it's... no, it is not. And I'm sorry, everybody hmm? who hmm. said uh, I didn't vote because you didn't have a C option neither. I understand. Oh, I don't know. That was why you had to choose mm-hmm. one or the other. Yeah, wow. neither would have been a hundred percent. So, right. But you know. I didn't do the obligatory right. pet gray. Duh, I don't know. Option <laughs> that would C. have also been yeah, hundred percent right. way that up sure there. Would have been. Yeah. Also, Jeopardy is uh, having a lot of guest hosts. I guess to start out uh, their search. Yeah, they're just rotating guests. Yeah, looking to replace somebody who's pretty much irreplaceable. Mm-hmm. I know. Um, and in the meantime, uh, did you get a call, Jeffy? By the way, no, I, no, I offered. Hmm. I've offered. Yeah, that would be good. Fat, mm-hmm. uh, a number of times because uh, they've uh, they're still looking. They're still mm-hmm. looking, and I know Katie Couric was uh, going to be one of the hosts, but she put herself into a little hot water with her uh, with her comments about the uh, having to deprogramming. Yeah, so that really that really kind of took away the luster of the beauty that is Katie Couric. Was there luster? Yes, <laughs> yes, <laughs> yes. There wasn't much huh. to take off. Yes, there was. Huh. Yeah, you didn't have to really use any elbow grease to get the, lust- <laughs> the luster and beauty off of that. Uh, <laughs> so You the- had to show it the rag. Here it is. Oh, there it is. Oh, oh it's gone. Luster's gone. Good okay. job. <laughs> no elbow grease show needed. Show it the rag. <laughs> uh, but if Jeffy were... To host Jeopardy. Yeah. We're pretty sure it would look like this. Okay. What do we got? <clears throat> There's the Jeopardy board. Look at that. Taylor there it is. Oh, nice. And the categories are <laughs> 18 <laughs> spoons, <laughs> milk, bougie sauces, <laughs> Coke <laughs> Zero, and <laughs> retrospective. Thank you, Texas Bizzle that One, awesome. for that board. Very funny. That I mean, awesome. Do, they, do we have actually, like, if I go for... Uh, oh, you want to play a game? You know, if I go for uh, bougie uh, sauces for four hundred. All right, bougie sauces for four hundred, Alex. Oh, oh wait, <laughs> Alex is not there. Do we I mean, look at that! Nice. <laughs> Thank you, Rob. Fancy <laughs> unnecessary sauces are commonly referred to as this. Uh, Jeffy, uh, bougie sauces. Bougie sauces. Oh, whoa, whoa! Form of a question, gentlemen. Uh, I, oh, what is? Yeah, what is? What bougie are bougie sauces? sauces? <laughs> All right. Uh, you want to awesome. play? You want? You got I'll take awesome. bougie sauces for eight hundred. Oh, you going to stay the oh. same category? Yeah, same category. Let's see if we can. This term can also be used to describe something considered high class. <laughs> okay. Uh, I'm going to uh, say bougie. Who are the bougie? Sauces. Who are the bougie sauces? Yeah. Okay. All right. Well, so you the got the answer points. Is the you, category. Yeah, that's really it. good. Yeah, can I? Funny. Mm-hmm. Do you mind if I play? I, I don't know. Is this okay? Well, no, but he got him. Go ahead. Oh, but he controls the board. Uh, go yeah, ahead. I'm nah, sorry. go ahead. All right. Can I see the categories again? I'm going to stay away from the math. No I'm afraid of the 18 category. 
Uh, can we go with milk for 400, please, Rob? <clears throat> milk for 400. Whole, low fat, and 2% are commonly purchased varieties of this. Okay, Rob, you put way too much work into this. I don't even know how many of these. He has. The answers are the category. We uh, can do this all that. morning. I don't know how many That's he's really got funny. in there. That is awesome. That's really funny. Let's do spoons for oh. 400. See what happens okay. there. We're moving to spoons for 400. Spoons for 400. Soups are commonly eaten with these. <laughs> <laughs> so it is definitely a Jeffy Jeopardy because the I love that the answers are the category. And they didn't call you back. Uh, I, did, I like it too. That's really well. That's funny. that's how your Jeopardy yeah, would be. Absolutely, I'm all for it. Yeah, I watched an episode with Ken Jennings. He's not that bad. Uh-huh. Ken Jennings. Yeah, no. he's not that bad. He's oh, okay. he's already hosted. Yeah, just one episode. No, or for a no, full he's week? done. He's done a few now since Aaron Rodgers yet. Gone. Probably not. I've not seen Aaron. No, mm-hmm. um, and he's not bad. I mean, mm-hmm. all right, not that hard. Okay, well, and well, they did not call you back though. No, hmm. they email you. Did you email them? You sent them over your resume or anything? I or? did not. I just offered on chewing the fat. I'm hoping that there are subscribers to the show. All hoping. right, everyone is. Uh, one more. I want to do 18 uh, for 2,000. <laughs> Ooh, I'm confused. Ooh, 18 Alex. for 2,000. 18 for 18 2000. for 2,000. This number lives in infamy on Pat Gray Unleashed. <laughs> <laughs> I get two thousand dollars. Wow, 18. <laughs> no, what is 18? We have not- what 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 is 18? <laughs> it's a daily <laughs> double if you I know. say it like what that. Is, that? <laughs> we have, uh, is there is there a daily double? Well, you have to pick the right one. Yeah, you have to pick the right one. Yeah, you have to pick the right one. All right. First of all, let me tell you about Patriot Mobile uh, because I've got some great news about Patriot Mobile. They have just expanded their coverage dramatically, so it makes it a lot easier for even more Americans to dump the big-name carriers, which charge way too much, and then turn around and use the money they get from you uh, to supply the left-wing idiots with all of their idiocy. Uh, You don't have to do that. That's why we're proud to partner with Patriot Mobile because they never, they've never they never sent a penny to the left. They never will, and they don't want to silence you. They're America's only Christian conservative wireless provider, and you can switch with confidence because they use the same networks as uh, the larger providers, but they just charge a lot less for it. Plus, they make switching easy, so it doesn't have to be a, a big hassle to you. You can keep your phone. You can keep your phone number. You can switch both of those or one or the other, whatever you want to do. And right now, this month, you can get a free premiere activation where they set up the phone for you, and they're going to throw in a special gift for you, too, uh, when you use the offer code PAT. So go to patriotmobile.com slash PAT, use the offer code PAT, patriotmobile.com slash PAT, or 972-PATRIOT. Pat Gray Unleashed. Uh, thanks to our producer, Rob, for that uh, fun Jeopardy board. That was awesome. <laughs> Went to a lot of work for that. And uh, I, that's your, you know, happy birthday. There's your birthday oh, present. Oh, thank you. you. Isn't that nice? Thank yes, Rob. I appreciate it. I did zero work on that. Absolutely zero but, work. But thank you. So, huh. yeah. Okay. Thank You're you. welcome. Oh, so You're humble. You're welcome. Happy to have done it. Happy to have done the <laughs> zero work for you. Uh, <laughs> PETA is uh, tackling the important issues right now. That of our society is is facing. They, uh, with this tweet, words can create a more inclusive world, or they can perpetuate oppression. Okay. Calling someone an animal as an insult reinforces the myth that humans are superior to other animals <laughs> and justified in violating. I'm sorry, humans are <laughs> superior yes. to other animals. Humans. Are <laughs> superior to them, and this was pointed out by. Is that by many, asinine? It was pointed out by many people to Peta. God, you know, are, are they atheists at Peta? Is that what they are? I mean, the Bible. Animals first. Pretty much spells this out. Stand up for justice, though, by rejecting supremacist language. <laughs> <laughs> These guys got to get a life. <laughs> so instead of calling somebody a chicken, hey, what are you, chicken? Say coward. Oh yeah. Okay. okay. And there's your the rest of your. So list. we're gonna play coward. What do we yeah. Got? Rat becomes snitch. Snake is a jerk. <laughs> pig repulsive. Or what about the fat? Are you not gonna fat shame as well I when know. you call somebody a pig? Right. Are mm. they taking that from us as well? 
No, I'm sorry, you're not. <laughs> you're not going to take. Uh, I mean, I might be a fan of that. <laughs> you might. I might be for you that. Might. <laughs> uh, sloth, lazy. Mm. Huh. All right. So, Peter. I mean, Peter. they are agonizing that is anyway. Ridiculous. And they and that so and they stupid. absolutely believe that you know animals first. That they're no at least uh, they're equals to humans. Equ- and you know, a lot of times uh, above. Yeah, uh, it doesn't matter. <sighs> I mean, I like animals. Well, maybe not as much as the next guy, but I like animals for the for the most part. I don't mind having you know a dog around sometimes if they're quiet and obedient, and mine's not. So I do <laughs> mind having our dog around. But uh, you know, this is so ridiculous to try to say that there is no difference between humans or the animal world. Right. When was the last time an animal? Developed a rocket to to space to get into uh, orbit to take us to the moon. Did animals do that? I'm trying to remember. Right? Was that a cheetah and an ape and a dog <laughs> yes. that developed that technology? <laughs> yes. Come on. Yes, it was. So stupid. Yes, it was. Now I like animals too. Mm-hmm. To eat. Yes. Uh, because yes. of being a superior being on this planet, we're able to, we figured out how to make those animals breed. Yeah, we make the rules. And that's what they were put here for, according to the Bible. They were put here for us to eat. <laughs> so that's, to, uh, that, that, I mean, that's in a, an actual writing of a book? Yeah, it is. Uh huh. A special book where you put it in a special place. Really? People send you this <laughs> copies of the special yeah? book. You put it in a special well, you, place. You can't keep it in. Pat, you can't no. keep it in this beautiful penthouse in New York. Right. He's just familiar with the app that that, that, <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah. that he listens okay, to yeah, on the, the drive. He didn't realize yeah. it was in a book. Yeah. Before yeah. the app was the book. Oh wow! Just know so that. So that thing that you're wow. listening to, the scriptures yeah. on the drive yeah. in every day. Yeah, that came Thank from a book originally. A... So, wow. Yeah. News to you. <laughs> It's like the people who, and they're PETA people. Uh, you know, the only animal that drinks other animals' milk is humans. <laughs> yeah, that's because we're the only ones who can, okay? <laughs> we know how to do it. Yeah. Hello. And we want to do it, so we do it. <laughs> if a cow <laughs> wanted to drink the milk of a sheep, uh, it'd have a hard time doing that. If a cat knew it how could, to pasteurize right? milk, right, and get it and, and process it, then it, it would probably, probably pour it in its bowl with its little opposable thumb, but it can't. It waits for us to do it. Right. Uh. That's right. So there's reasons for these things. <laughs> I just, I mean, the asinine nature of uh, things like this put up by PETA, it, it makes it, it's like embarrassing. Mm-hmm. You're almost embarrassed. Uh, they have no so shame. Stupid. Those far left groups no, like that, not. animal rights groups, environmentalist groups, they have no shame whatsoever. They don't care. Yeah, no question. All right. New York Attorney General uh, has stated her name is uh, Letitia James, and she is accusing the Cuomo administration, this is going to surprise you, of severely undercounting the number of coronavirus related deaths at nursing homes in the Wait, state. Wait, what? Yeah. He apparently didn't count them all. By no. 50%, it looks like. Uh, so what we've been saying all along, the New York State, and she's a Democrat. I see, yeah. New York State Attorney General just came out, came out and said, yep, he underreported by 50%. Wow, is that crazy? During the investigation, which surveyed 62 nursing homes across the state, James' office reportedly found consistent discrepancies between the deaths reported to the Attorney General's investigators and those officially released by the Health Department. Hmm. To the tune of half. Wow, that is that is really incredible. Hmm. A lot of people call that... Uh, what's the word I'm looking for? What's the word is I'm it looking for? Fraud? Um, is no. It criminal? No. Oh, Deceit? No. No. You know um, the definition of criminal. I shouldn't have questioned um, you on that one. Uh, dishonesty? Yeah, you know, lies. Oh, li- lie. oh lie. That was okay. the word I was thinking of, yeah. All right. Now, I wasn't thinking of. I, I like that this attorney general is doing this. Mm-hmm. Um, I think she has her eye on the governor's mansion, quite frankly. Because oh, really? she originally was going to plan to run for mayor or for governor in uh, uh-huh. uh, 2021. Right. And instead she ran for this. Uh, position attorney general so i'm sorry oh it was oh, okay. mayor it was mayor okay i'm sorry it was mayor all right well my bottom 
she could totally use this now mm-hmm. in a primary. Mm-hmm. Uh, so, I mean, I'm not saying that, that, that she's wrong, and I love it that someone, especially a Democrat, is going after Andrew Cuomo. It's about freaking time in that state. Yeah. Uh, but this is what this is what uh, Cuomo will just slough it off as. Oh, she's just an opportunist. She's uh, eyeing my job. When is she? Up, when is he up for a re-election? Is it twenty twenty two? Yes. Okay, that's what I thought. Yes. And there's Ooh. rumors that uh, Janice Dean is going to run. Yeah, she addressed those rumors. I <clears> asked <throat> her uh, directly, and uh, we got into that on uh, at the Mike Show dot com, and that uh, episode's going to drop in a few weeks. So you're not going to so tell us what she said. I'm not going to tell you. You got to tune in, and man. We have to well. wait for a few yeah. weeks yeah. to figure it out. Yeah. Huh. Yeah. All right. I'll, I'll put just, words into her mouth. Just, I'll just tweet her. Okay. <laughs> Direct message her. What yeah, you say? You do <laughs> At themikeshow.com. Okay. Coming soon. Cool. Coming soon to a uh, podcast near you. Yes, sir. Uh, it looks like a, another baby and a healthcare worker have died after receiving their second dose of, of the vaccine. Oh. Uh, just to keep you updated on the coronavirus. Every day. The vaccine. Every Seems day. Seems like every day we're hearing about some of these unbelievable uh, stories of people that have received the vaccine and then drop dead afterwards. First of all, what are they doing giving the baby a vaccine? Why would you vaccinate a baby from coronavirus? That does seem (sighs) strange. Rarely even get the disease, and when they do, it's usually mild. Why? why? Product of hysteria. Yeah. People are so terrified by... Was that here in the United States? The Yes, it was in Orange County, California. Wow. I, mm-hmm. I mean, how did the baby get on the on the rolls I don't to know. get the shot? That's I don't know. Excellent point. And then there's a healthcare worker who died at UC Irvine uh, after UC Irvine Medical Center after receiving his second dose. Uh, he's 60 years old. He's an X-ray technologist at South Coast Global Medical Center in Santa Ana, California. Suffered an adverse reaction within hours after the second shot was administered. He died days later mm. last Saturday. So his family said he had high blood pressure and was slightly overweight, but he was, I mean, he, was a, he was a proponent of the vaccine. So now, how badly do you want the shot? <laughs> <laughs> I would actually love to hear from anybody who's gotten the vaccine. And if you experienced any side effects or, uh, or if anything unusual or if nothing unusual happened, right. 888-900-3393. I'd like to hear from anybody who's... Who's gotten this? Because I don't know anybody who has. But we are getting stories that, what is it? We're up to many tens of millions of people yeah. who have who have received it now. And if high blood pressure can and, uh, and, cause adverse reactions, and moderately overweight like us, I mean, <laughs> I, I, it Wait makes you us. think. Do you have a moderately overweight <laughs> mouse in your pocket? <laughs> yes. What do you mean us? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Huh. <laughs> huh. Okay. But seriously, I mean, pretty much every American is considered overweight to one degree or another. If you look at the crazy BMI charts. Yeah, I'm 6'9 so. and 120 pounds. <laughs> Ooh, you are. Yeah, no. You're a little porky. Oh. What do you mean I'm a little porky? Uh, <laughs> I thought it'd be perfect for the you NBA. Should, you, should have been, you should have been 111. You should be 111. Yeah, right now. yeah. Yeah. Well, it goes up so. to about 108. Now it can if you go up to 111, you're definitely cross the line yeah, that, there. That's you're a into, fluctuation you don't yeah, want. You're into fatness in, at that point. So yes. scientific term, <laughs> fatness. Fatness. So <laughs> blood pressure. They've never. They have. They've never said anything about never blood pressure that. being an issue for the vaccine. Mm, never. I think said. it was part of the underlying issues, though. That, that it was. Well, I don't know that that uh, that those were those were one that was one of the things that would be an underlying issue for uh for, for coronavirus the, right yes yeah. yes so yeah uh, but I, the vaccine the vaccine is not the virus you know they're doing this in right, a different way right so i don't know why that would be one of those attacks issue. of dna or something like that right um and so that's why they said eh, maybe pregnant women shouldn't get this because everything is maybe or everything is we're not sure yeah. And so why don't you err on the side of caution and not give it to pregnant women? Right. Now that's what they're suggesting. Right. Or babies. This or, is so sad. For sure not babies. Well, I, I don't see any reason for a baby to get this. They, it's, That's not an issue with the coronavirus. Why are you an anti-vaxxer? <laughs> wow. All right. Yeah. Guilty. <laughs> Pro, Peace, man. You pro-life. Are... Sorry. Yeah. All right. Triple eight nine hundred thirty three ninety three. More Pat Gray Unleashed coming up. Remember, no rap, 
No hard rock. No sleepy elevator music. Just your favorites. Just your favorites. All day long. The Big Frog, 109.9. The only station beyond the bandwidth of your FM digital dial. (laughs) 888-933-93. Also at Pat Unleashed on Twitter where Carl Smith tweets... So, will Joe Biden sign an executive order requiring us to agree we are a democracy? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yes. Wait. Wouldn't be surprised. Tell you that. Uh, Gary D., as a longtime member of the Caucasian tribe, I'm highly offended by Keith's t shirt and demand he remove it. Ooh. I was afraid that was going to happen. I know. Sorry. Yeah, the Caucasians. <laughs> Whatever. Uh, whoever posted this a couple of weeks ago, thank you very much. This is. And like a guy originally, so like uh, a, great a Native American dude, originally posted this, and he was all proud, like, "Ha ha, I'm I got one up in whitey." Oh, and no. and white people like me were like, "No, I need that." <laughs> <laughs> I know. Like, laugh at yourself, man. Come uh-huh. on. Slightly venomous Kirk. Peta's animal name shame dictionary makes them a bunch of dog faced pony soldiers. <laughs> Whoa. No oh boy. Wow. Easy. Whoa. Easy. Whoa. Easy. From Curry, I know dolphins are intelligent, but don't remember seeing any heavy technology built in the ocean yet. <laughs> yeah, but do you know how much of the ocean we've not explored? Thank you. A ton. Like most of it. I think it's at least three quarters, right? More than that, though, I think. Gotta be. I think it's more than three quarters. We haven't explored. Yeah, right. So, be. so uh, mm-hmm. what was the name of the place where Black Panthers from? Wakanda, whatever. Yes. Oh yeah, well, Pro- Wakanda. Sure. I bet there's I a city like that. The dolphins have created like <laughs> hidden way down yes. deep that we don't know right, exists. Right. 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 Well, well, I mean, they, they're, <laughs> aren't they the ones that created cell phones? Dolphins. dolphins? Yeah. Yeah. If you yes. Yes, dolphins created cell phones. That's what I thought. Yeah, yeah. I mean, with technology, the technology that they yeah that they uh, they got after they created NASA. <laughs> yeah, that's so. the porpoise technology. Yes, from Mister McAfee, <laughs> uh, they say with age comes wisdom. So what's Jeffy's excuse? That's a really good question. That's maybe maybe the mm. best question of the day. Yeah, yeah. Uh, You're going to be great hosting Jeopardy. Uh huh. <laughs> Amy, what's her face? PETA, did you know we're the only species that consumes other species' milk? Me, yes, because we're better. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Thank you. And there right. you go. So Thank you. Put that in your pipe, okay? And, and then smoke it, it yeah. or something. Uh, let's go to Judy in, in Utah. Uh, Judy, hi. You're on the blaze. Hi. Hi, Pat. How are hey. you? Hey, good. Thanks for asking. You really concerned, or you just making small I am, talk? I am I am terribly concerned. Okay. I, oh, I'm, I'm glad to hear it. And I am concerned. All right. So, did you get the vaccine? I did get the vaccine. I got the Pfizer vaccine. Uh, the first shot in December, and the last shot was just like a week or so ago. And did you have any oh, adverse said, reaction at all? <clears throat> um, I had a quarter-sized red spot on my shoulder. And that's it? Uh, that's it. Did it hurt much, or the, the red no. spot? No. So, no well, lingering small <laughs> fever, aches and pains, anything like that? Nothing. So, like the tetanus shot, uh-huh. hurts way more. Hurt, hurts way more. Oh wow. Okay. Well, good. So, not That's everybody, not good. everybody has died from the vaccine. Would you yeah, recommend? We're not losing people. <laughs> would you recommend it for others? Are you okay I with? Would. Yeah. I would. I'm, okay. I'm sixty. I'm sixty. I had no side, of, you know, no side effect. Mm-hmm. Um, everybody that I work with it, it has it. Nothing. Right. Do you have any lingering? Oh, you do. I mean, like high blood pressure, moderately obese, anything have, like that. I'm I'm, I'm uh, moderately obese, like everybody else. <laughs> mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So, like, um, yeah, when you walk into the doctor's office and you measure six ten and you're 120 <laughs> pounds, and the chart says, yeah, you got to lose yeah. about 30 Ooh. pounds. What are those? Oh. Yeah, you've, yeah. You've met me. You've met me before. You've met me. <laughs> Where have I seen you? Um, in in uh, Texas at one of the book sightings. Oh, okay. Uh, yeah, don't 21. you remember? Of course I remember. I remember you, Judy. Exactly. Okay. You're the one that was in Texas. Why were you in Texas? I I was a travel nurse. And um, I actually told you and Stu to call nurses for more on trivia because <laughs> you'd get some really good answers. Really? Okay, that doesn't instill wow. confidence okay. in the healthcare <laughs> no, system. <laughs> yeah, you want the real dummies. Call the people that are taking care of your health. <laughs> That's not a good thing. Uh, all right, Judy, I'm, thanks I'm a lot. 
appreciate it, hey. and I'm glad nothing uh, nothing happened. No uh, kidding. Uh, from the vaccine. Let's go to Aaron in Texas. Hey, Aaron. Hey, how are you doing today? Good. Good. Yeah, I had the vaccine. I'm actually a respiratory therapist and work at a hospital not too far from you guys in Grapevine, and I okay. didn't have any issues at all. The second shot, I had a little bit of fatigue. Uh, about 24 hours after the the first, uh, the, sorry, the second shot. But other than that, that hmm. was fine. So that okay, good. And so you're glad you got it, and and uh, you've had both shots, you said, right? Both shots, yeah. But my second shot was on January 11th, and everyone that I worked with, I haven't heard anybody talk about uh, uh, having any kind of real adverse reactions as far as up here, anyways, and. And I also, underlying, had uh, high blood pressure and, uh, mm. you know, of course, a little bit overweight, a little bit, my wife says. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> but, but, yeah, it's, um, uh, you know, I'm, uh, I feel a lot better that I got it just because I feel safer not taking it home to my uh, family, right. of course. Yeah. yeah. Aaron, which, uh, which one was it again that you got? Pfizer which... or Moderna? I got the Pfizer. The Pfizer, that's the two-shot okay. one, right? Well, I think yeah. they're both two-shot, yeah. aren't they? Are they both two-shot? Uh, both Do you two- know? Yeah. They're both okay. your shots. Yeah, I thought so. Are you more confident in the Pfizer or the Moderna, or did you have a choice? We didn't have a choice at the time. We do now, but um, mm. from what I researched, I think the Pfizer was, what, 1% uh, more uh, effective against the vaccine. But uh, I think either one of the first two are really good, so I felt fine taking this one. Mm. Appreciate it. Nice. Thanks a lot, Thank Aaron. you. Yeah, thanks. Hmm. Well, there's two people who lived. You yeah, right, well, two out of <laughs> how many? Tens of millions. And well, that's just, because the people that have died from it aren't able to call the program. Pretty good point. You yeah. see. That <laughs> so, is a good point. We only hear from point. the live ones. We'd like to hear from you. If this thing killed you, <laughs> I want to know about it. Triple eight nine hundred thirty three ninety three. Uh Jerry in Utah. Hi, you're on the blaze. Hi, how are you? Good. Hey, I got the shot about a week and a half ago. I'm 72 and with no reactions whatsoever. Awesome. Me, it was much different than a flu shot. Okay, so really? you still have to get the second one in a couple weeks, right? Yes, yeah, I got yeah. the second one up in about a week, and I took the Pfizer. And were you in line already because you're 72, or how did that work out? Uh, yeah, they notified us uh, through our local health department, and we registered and signed mm-hmm. up, and then... Went in and scheduled an appointment and went and got a shot. Not even a low-grade fever? No aches, no pains, nothing? No. Like I said, I've had flu shots, and I take the high-dose flu shot, which isn't uh, causing me any issues, and this was uh, pretty simple. Glad to hear it. So, so, so Jerry, do you typically wear a mask uh, when you go out in public and, you know, around? Uh, Yeah, we kind of do if we're out in stores where there's other people, but for the most part, uh, we don't. I I know you're halfway through the process right now with the vaccine, the injections. (laughs) Um, Once you're done with the process, will you feel more confident in not wearing the mask? Will you feel invincible then, or how will you respond (laughs) with the mask? Well, I don't think we'll be invincible because I think it's going to take a while for it to get into the body and really do some good. So we'll probably continue wearing the masks for a while. Uh, I think the one thing will be a little more comfortable maybe to having our kids and grandkids around. Which okay. is what we're mm. did, they, to. Mm-hmm. did they say that you would have to come back a year from now or every season or did they say one and done for the rest of your life? Did they even talk no. about that? No, no information on that so far. Yeah, they haven't mm. talked to anyone hope, about that. I hope it's one and done. Yeah, me too. All right. Thanks a lot, Jerry. Appreciate it. Um, you know, I, 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 I think the mask wearing... They're going to continue to push that. Absolutely. And I think the mask wearing in Utah is mandatory in a lot of the stores and the places you go normally, like the grocery store or a restaurant. You have to wear it from the door to your seat at the rest. Then you take it off and you're completely fine. Everybody, everybody's around you. You're all talking together. You're all breathing together, getting up and going to the bathroom together and nobody's got a mask on. But when you go back to the door to exit the restaurant, don't you dare not have that mask on because we don't want anybody killed in here. All right. right. That's right. (laughs) So weird. It's really weird. It's, so when do we just graduate to full blown burkas, though? Hmm? Uh, uh, it can't be too far from now. Can no, it? it cannot. <laughs> Calendar year. Far. No, it okay. cannot. All right. Let me tell you about Omega XL. If you've been experiencing uh, pain that's brought on by inflammation, or you strongly suspect it's from inflammation of some sort, um, then I highly recommend you give Omega XL a try. This is good stuff. Builds up in your system, and after about a week, I was starting to feel. Some real relief in my uh, elbow joint. 
and the pain that radiated down my arm. Uh, and after two weeks, the pain was completely gone. This is backed by 35 years of clinical research. It's the omega fatty acids that they get out of the, the fish wildlife stuff around New Zealand, the really pristine waters there. And they found a way so that you're not burping up that fish taste all day long <laughs> and ruining your whole stinking day. That, so, that's kind of a good thing. That's a really good thing. Yeah. I don't. I can't take it if it if it causes the fish taste thing. Uh, so if you'd like to finally find a way to get out of pain, and especially a non-drug way to get out of pain so that you're not dependent on something the rest of your life, this is a great way to go. Omega XL. When you buy one bottle, we'll get you a second one for free. Visit OmegaXL.com slash Pat. That's OmegaXL.com slash Pat. You buy one, you get one free. 800-844-4888. This is Pat Gray Unleashed. Welcome back to uh, Pat Gray Unleashed. I will say that uh, the mask tactics, uh, and I don't want to call them scare tactics, but that's really what they are, are, are seem to be working. I, are. Uh, driving home uh, leave, from here on Wednesday, uh, I noticed more people than ever wearing the mask the by car. themselves in the car. I saw that just yesterday. It's unbelievable to me. Uh, I, was, I, so, I, was, I was at the red light going, are you, what? what are you doing? Uh-huh. And then uh, as I was going through an intersection, I saw another car, you know, getting ready to make the right onto the road I'm on, wearing a mask, looking at the traffic. And I, what? What is going on? It's, it's, I so, I mean, it, it's man. working. I, I mean, the, I just the tactics of wear a mask wherever you are, whatever you're doing is working because people are believing it. I think this the whole thing is being run and controlled by big mask. <laughs> I don't because, doubt it, man. Because now, not only are you supposed to wear a mask, you're supposed to wear two at the two. same time. And they're trying to and push now three. three. They're, they're actually telling us to wear three yeah. masks at a time. Yeah. My favorite mask wearer on Wednesday was the guy in a, in a pickup truck next to me. He had the mask pulled down below his chin, so okay. he had his mask on. Mm-hmm. And he was sitting there at the red light with the windows closed <laughs> and, the, and the cigarette in his hand. Smoking. <laughs> it was awesome. So and I great. didn't have the light turned green. Uh, I couldn't take the picture in time because he would have been a favorite of mine well, you know, on Instagram because you know, he was awesome. You know what we're doing <laughs> is we're keeping those guys uh, over on the other side of the globe um, employed. Sitting around on the floor with their dirty feet, uh, making those masks. You remember we had the oh, video. Oh, what are you talking oh, about? You know, There's no it, such thing the, uh, as that going oh, on. Oh, well, I mean, it's right. Oh, it's right you mean there. these guys? See, look oh, at okay. that. We're keeping them. Okay, well, there's one, one place example. where they're. It's just the one place, and just of course we're exploiting that. I'm and, exploiting that, and it's the exact mask I wear all the time, uh, no. which has been dragged uh, no. across oh, a dirty Thailand that. floor. Oh god! Look at that. Uh, uh, so if you smell feet when you're out and about, <laughs> there's could, why. It could be your mask. It I looks could, sanitary, possible. obviously. I just mean, that can. We are a stupid society. Can that really be true? And like or, right now no, on, on no, CNN, what's no, this lady doing? No, Pat. It's She's not sitting true, in her house no. on CNN doing a live hit. Oh, yeah. In her house. With it pulled down. Uh, uh, oh, my goodness. Under her nose, though. Oh. Yeah, of wearing it improperly. <laughs> so and I, I told you I had been going to the doctor a lot lately. Wow. You got one lady there. She's got a mask on. And it's got like a little poo stain right in the middle because she's been wearing it so much. It's so gross. That's nasty. I oh, can't nasty. take this. Yeah. We are mm. a stupid society. <laughs> and then you're getting other kinds of diseases from, uh, no. from yeah, wearing, from the wearing the mask. I'm telling you. From you're, breathing, from breathing I'm the telling air. You, and, mm-hmm. I know. and touching it. We're putting all the germs on it. I know. Next. And it's difficult. You're out shop. Look, you go out shopping and mm-hmm. I see people all the time. And I, I've done it before too. And, it, and I caught myself the other day. You know, you're wearing the mask. You're sweating. Mm-hmm. Man, I well, am. you are, yeah. And uh, you know, you've been you. You think oh, I have to have salsa? Oh no, because <laughs> you just got done. You t- you you've touched your... the cart. Yes. You've touched the shopping. Yes. I mean, it's it's unbelievable. It's difficult yes. mm-hmm. to to do that. So I mean, now you're there's going to be wearing plastic gloves everywhere. I within know. five to ten years, there's going to be just an info. If you're in, mm-hmm. if you're going to college or middle school right now, you should specialize in in lungs. 
because that kind of stuff is going to become prevalent as people continue to restrict their breathing. And by the way, if you don't want anybody giving you crap when you walk into a store and you're not wearing a mask and they say, excuse me, please, uh, would you like to have a mask in? You just pull out an inhaler. Just, I, I'm sorry. I got asthma. Here we go. Just keep that in That'd the be a pocket. good business to sell uh, fake inhalers I to know. people. Make sure. So you could do that. Yeah. Uh, it's a little side uh, hustle. It is a side, yeah. is a side You're hustle welcome. right there. Uh, I am right yeah. now considering. Uh, and me don't too. forget, don't forget to too. eat on the airplane constantly. Right. Don't forget you're holding the uh, the, right. the trail mix. Wait, I'm, not, I'm not supposed to forget to eat constantly. Is that what? <laughs> <laughs> it must be your birthday. So uh, yeah, just keep the food handy, yeah. you know. Uh -huh. And if you must wear something to get people off your back, <laughs> off your back, wear the mask, the little. The shield, mm. you know? the shield would be great because then you're you're not breathing that hot air all the time, mm -hmm. right? You could breathe normally, and, and people won't that. get in your face because right? they'll be like, "Oh, he's got enough he, on oh, him." Oh, he's got a shield on. So I keep walking. Doesn't by. have the doesn't have the face covering though. And the shield, because the shield does nothing. Come right, on now, right. the shield can't help at all. Or do what it looks like Andy Reid has been doing for the last. It could double up right there with the face months. covering and the shield. No, oh, that defeats those, the purpose those are of being able to breathe yes. while you're wearing the covering. Yeah, that, that, that don't get me started on those people. Oh, oh the two-ply. So uh, you, you got the Andy Reid mask, right? Where you can tell he's got it so it's open down here and it's dark. I, I love it. Andy Reid, because remember, he started off with the shield. Yeah. So people just leave him alone. Then they must have told him, hey, yeah. the yeah, shield isn't good yeah. enough. They yeah. did get after him for that because they got yeah. after and, Arians from Tampa, too. Yeah. But and Arians so, still wears it. And look who's in the Super Bowl. The two guys who haven't been wearing yeah. masks. <laughs> Sorry, John Gruden. Uh, but but look, at, look, at, look at his mask. Andy Reid's mask. It's open. Mm -hmm. and he's got the microphone under there that props it open. Genius. Love it. That Andy is Reid. smart. Yeah. yeah. And then the air can come up and, and get in. <laughs> So you're not breathing that hot CO2 air oh, yeah. for three hours during a football game. It's oh. just, it's so ridiculous. What a, what a world. <laughs> what a world. It's a man out. It yeah. is, yeah. A man out. Thank you. Good thoughts. Good thoughts. 888 thirty More Pat Grandleash coming up. Yes. Welcome. 888-900-3393. Also at uh, Pat Unleashed on Twitter. Uh, been asking if you've gotten the uh, either of the vaccines yet. You've been vaccinated with Pfizer or Moderna. Like to hear some, because we're hearing all these stories every, every day. We're getting news stories about people who've died or have had nasty, weird reactions. Last Was it last week we played the woman? Couldn't stop convulsing. <laughs> she just... Uh, continually shaking her body, whole body convulsing. And, it you know, she even joked about it. It looked like she was dancing while she was sitting there on the chair. Yeah. It's really tragic. It's scary. And she was going to get shock therapy to try to stop it. Never heard what happened after no, that. No, we should circle back. <laughs> good Thank idea, you, circle back boy. That's a good idea. <laughs> All right. Boy. Just saying. <laughs> We're bringing circle back, you know. We are bringing, We're bringing circle, circle back, back. back. So, Wait. so there you go. Um, also, we want to thank uh, Pat Head, Kate Ness for sending us this clip. The Fo Fox News was discussing Ar Army Hammer. Army Hammer is an actor. He's been in some things. If yeah. you saw him, I think you'd yes, recognize you'd exactly who he is. Who yes. he is? You might not know him by name. But the guy is supposedly a cannibal. Well, you know, maybe part time. <laughs> Here we go. Maybe part time. <laughs> He, I mean, several women have said, you know, that he and wanted he, to eat them. And he wanted to. Yeah. I mean, yeah. And he, he hasn't. about it or whatever. He hasn't. Yeah. Has he eaten anybody Not so that far? we're aware I, of. Not that I know and of. And there's been a couple of uh, post-girlfriends uh, or dates that have said that he did not, uh, you know, maybe he wasn't a fan of them because yeah. he didn't ask, offer to eat anything from them. Right. Perhaps right. they didn't look tasty. Right. I, right. We don't know. We don't know. But here uh, are some of the Fox News personalities discussing him. Absolutely. He certainly does. He's also in a custody battle with his ex-wife over yeah, those children. So time. certainly got a lot on his plate. No. All right, Carly, thank no you. Unintended. Okay. No, Carly. No, unintended. That's funny. <laughs> it's funny. It's a lot on his plate. That's funny. Yeah. Cute. Uh, <laughs> all right. 888 thirty three ninety three. 
also don't worry about the taxes being raised you know your Whew, good your income taxes i mean they're going to be raised but oh, don't what? just don't worry about it oh and then uh and then he's also going to apparently raise the gasoline tax the federal gasoline tax from 18 cents to i don't know what well that's good because i mean gas prices are going up anyway and, and so. again don't worry about it Is and again yes don't worry about it duh <laughs> and don't worry about the lost jobs along the way either will you Please, just uh, stop with your whining. Oh, the 11,000 jobs. Yeah, get a new job get then. Get a new job. Get a different make job. make some solar panels. Thank you. Or wind turbines. Thank you. Right? Yes. But I'd take a 70% pay cut. That's so? So? You're you're making <laughs> stuff for good. Yeah, you're going to go from 100 grand to 30, but... <laughs> Stop your whining. Get another job then. Get a right. second job to supplement it. But there's not enough hours in the Ah, oh, there's plenty. Day. You're just wasting time all the time. You're how, Stop it. Instead of spending time on social media, get another job yeah, and okay. spend your time at that. Would yeah. you? How uh, many streaming apps do you have that you watch at your house? Cancel those. Get to work. Right? <laughs> like, listen to this whiner, this guy who lost his job. Uh-oh. Well... Lost my job today. Mm. A stroke of a pen. Wow. At the stroke of a pen, me, my buddies, all of us, we lost our jobs. I just got a bought this car. Mm. It affects real a, people, Joe. Six year payment plan on it. So I'm probably going to have to sell the car. And then probably won't be able to make next month's mortgage. Just doesn't make any sense. It doesn't make any sense. How? Mm. That's hard to watch. It sure is. Poor guy. Well, there's... One of the 11,000 jobs lost uh, at the stroke of a pin has a little executive order that uh, stopped the Keystone Pipeline and stopped drilling in Anwar and other federal land locations. Uh, all right, you feel good about that? Of course, of course he does. And yeah, he doesn't any, care. Of anybody he does. in this White House sees that video, they won't care. They don't. They don't care. They pretend to care about guys like him. Mm-hmm. They they run on caring about guys like him. And then what is the first thing they do? They throw him out of a job. Literally. Literally the first, first thing, thing yep. they do yep. is eliminate job. What was it? 71,000 jobs in 72 hours? Yeah, yeah oh, that's yeah. right. Jeez. But it doesn't matter because we're getting rid of, you know, drilling for oil. Right. The evil Which is evil. oil. Evil. Yes. Fossil doesn't fuel matter. that isn't. From fossils. Uh, <laughs> You're 100 percent right. On I, think so. I, I think so. I think so. 100 percent right. But also, in addition to losing his job, what he can look forward to what? is the prices at the pump going up, so that he can't afford to buy gas anymore either. Well, he won't need to because he's not going to have the car. You're right. talking about the oil. You won't that, have to go to a job either. The oil that right. he used to bring to us from yeah. America. Yeah. We can. We now have the the luxury of getting overseas oil. Well, we can get it from Saudi Arabia. Okay. They're a good close personal friend. We don't have to go to Venezuela <laughs> oh, no. for it. Oh, our no. good close personal friends, the Saudis. Well, I'm sure okay, they'll keep good. us stocked in right. oil. And, the, and the, what about our good friends, the Russians, they'll also, I'm oh, sure, yeah. be happy oh, to yeah. start exporting more oil to the United States sure. of America. Man, under President Trump, we became the largest oil producer in the world. Hmm. In 2019, the U.S. produced uh, 12,248,000 barrels per day, which topped Saudi Arabia, which produced 12 billion barrels per day. Russia, 10.8 billion a day. Other nations in OPEC were far behind. Iraq, four and a half million. I mean, look at how, look at how we eclipsed the I rest know. of the world. Well, that's what happens when you have a president that puts America first. Right. For and, real. And Americans. Mm-hmm. Think of this. Iraq, four and a half million. Iran, four million. Three million for Kuwait. We did 12 
$1.248 million per day. I wonder what that number is going to be down to, say, a month from now. Yeah, or Two a year from lot. now. Or today. Jeez. I mean, the people he's put in charge, I, I was just reading a story about this Marissa Node, uh, that she is part of the Biden transition uh, with <clears throat> offshore oil and gas leasing, mm-hmm. uh, which is real good because she's called for the eradication of offshore oil and gas. Oh, and has so she? now oh, she's good. in charge of that. So that's real good. That's yeah, that's perfect. great. That's, that's great. Perfect. It's going really well. I mean, the Biden is doing a great job so far, isn't he? Think of the yes. Think of the damage he's already done. I Ten mean, it's days. incredible what he's done so far. How many days again, Jeffy? Ten. Ten days. Ten, Ten days. days. Jeez. I mean, it's <sighs> it's amazing. It, it, it it's is depressing as hell. It is. Plus, he's going to get us on track for a million vaccines per day. Let's not forget that. Oh, yeah, that's because right. Because before he got into office, we were only doing a million vaccines per day. So, so he's on it. He's on it. He's on it. <laughs> he is snapping yeah, Well, that it. last guy was only doing a million vaccines per day. Well, I'm you know going to do a million vaccines per day. Uh, wait. I'm, I'm do gonna... you know that's the same? No, it's not. And I'm telling you, the last, the last administration... Uh-huh. I mean, they were only doing a million. Right. So, But we're going to do a million. We're going to do <laughs> one million a day. <laughs> so I, I'm trying to figure out how many barrels of oil we're going to go down to. Uh-huh. And that number is a little elusive. But I can tell you that we were going to get 800,000 barrels of oil a day just from the Keystone Pipeline. We have stopped mm-hmm. offshore drilling. Gulf of Mexico was yep. 200,000 barrels a day. Mm-hmm. Um, who knows how many millions of barrels came from federal lands that now we've stopped on? Three. Three barrels a day. Just the three? Federal, yeah, That's so it, it's hardly anything. Oh, it's not even a it. dent. It's that was no, a symbolic gesture. A it was yes. stupid executive order. Exactly right. <laughs> Anyhow. And see, here's the thing. The, the oil workers won't have a job anymore, so now they can go get vaccinated. So there you go. It actually works out. It's going to save lives. There you go. That's oh, what yeah. it's going to do. It's oh, going to save lives. No, this makes sense. When you get rid of all of the uh, jobs, mm-hmm. people have nowhere to go, so you don't need oil. You don't need the gasoline don't, that powers your vehicle. Don't they're not, need they're it. creating oh, new sense. jobs. I mean, they don't exist yet, but they're creating new <laughs> jobs with new things. Like All they have to do, like that guy that we just heard from. All he has to do losing. is build a wind turbine now. Just go bend, build wind turbines. I was thinking that he could go work at one of the private prisons. Oh, wait. Nope. Those are being closed, too. Now Never mind. <laughs> nope. So, yeah, so, yeah. There's that. Well, there's too many prisoners, so that's a good thing. We should release all the prisoners. Well, they're gonna they're going to be to. doing soon. Didn't we already do that for COVID? And they're going to be doing more. Yeah. Because the federal prisons that have separate contracts because they're private. <clears throat> nope. We're going to cancel those. No more of those contracts, my friend. What about the prisoners in the prisons? Nah, don't worry about it. They're just good people who are going to vote Democrat because we're going to allow them to vote now, too. So that's great. Uh, and they won't have jobs. And uh, so... <laughs> There's no jobs, prisoners on the streets. What could, what, what could go wrong? Thank you. What could possibly go oh wrong? Oh, my goodness. Listen, I don't think anything could. Listen to this line. A ban on drilling on federal lands and waters could cost the oil and gas industry up to a million jobs nationally by 2022, including 120,000 jobs in Texas alone. Mm-hmm. Oh, my goodness. Point? I don't know if you've heard this. Uh, Texas and oil are sort of inextricably connected. Is that a connected. thing? That's a thing, yeah. That is yeah. interesting. Really? Texas I have not and heard oil that. are connected. Huh. Yeah. yeah. So 12% of oil jobs in America. Mm. That's not Based bad. here. Okay. Oh, this is going to be great. Yeah. It is. Uh, all right. <laughs> Let's go to Reed in Georgia, who has had the uh, Pfizer vaccine. Hey, Reed, welcome. Hey, morning, deplorables. How are you? <laughs> Good. Thank you. So, uh, my wife had the vaccine, and much to my dismay, she's still alive. Oh, uh, oh really man! Too much of an issue. <laughs> Has wow. she, did you make sure she got the second <laughs> shot on time, though? Oh. Reed, yes, is she a listener yes. of the program? <laughs> Thankfully, I'm a, I'm safe on this Didn't one. Didn't think okay. so. Okay. Good. Not a listener. <laughs> <laughs> she, she's a labor and delivery nurse and works at a hospital, so she has COVID patients like right. just about every time she works. Yeah. And they have to test everybody that comes in. Uh, she got the first shot, and after the first shot, she was a little groggy the first day. And then she got the second shot a couple of days ago, and about the fourth day in, she was just, like, laid out. 
Oh, wow. Uh, she just, no energy, didn't want to do anything, basically slept on the couch all day. And did you tell her, tough, look- get to work? <laughs> Yes. Meanwhile, I was outside digging up stumps and trimming trees. <laughs> Thank you. Know, you. Doing man work. <laughs> she got to stay on the couch all day. Oh man. You know, I'd, I'd I'd to give her a hard time for that, but and, yeah, no. So, but she's fine now. And that was okay. the Pfizer. That was the Pfizer one. Yeah. Okay. Wow. So so far, the huh. Pfizer one seems to be the better one, and yeah, and like I I can't go get the shot because I have an allergy to shellfish. So yeah, my wife is oh, that way as well. I'm Wow. Yeah, my wife doesn't get the so flu I'm shot. So I'm wondering how long it's going to take for me to be banned from places because I don't have yep. the shot, even already... though I have a medical reason why I can't get the shot. So right. uh, it doesn't it won't yeah, matter. Yeah, they won't care. Won't they, matter. they won't care. Wow. You still won't be, be able to fly, out yep. places. get on a train. Uh, appreciate it. Thanks a lot, Reed. Uh, glad your wife is doing better, even though you're not. Right. Apparently. So, <laughs> uh... <laughs> so laid out for a day. I mean, that's... That's a lot, though. I mean, I don't want to get sick for a whole day after wow. taking the vaccine. I don't want that. But you just never know. We've heard of people who had absolutely no adverse reaction, and then this. And that's the same. I mean, that's that's similar to what we hear and what we've experienced or what I've experienced with the flu shots. You've had that with yeah, the, flu the flu shot? Shots, I never yeah. get the flu shot. So I wonder if there's a uh, capitalism opportunity here. People like Reed and myself who would be standing outside of an arena while – the Rolling Stones are inside the arena doing a concert for people that got the vaccine. What if you set up a, a, a concert venue for anybody? Anybody can come here. I mm-hmm. mean, I guess you sign a waiver, you mm-hmm. know. That, how, hey, about this? how about you just mm-hmm. stay home? Um, how about you stay home and don't infect the rest of us? Or how we find that? a little island for them. Okay, an yes. For the okay, no, like no, 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 no. Mm-hmm. I'm like signing mm-hmm. up for that one. Mm-hmm. Get me an island. <laughs> okay. I am their stat. <laughs> All right, let me tell you about ScoreMaster. Uh, Getting your best credit score is going to help virtually every aspect of your life. You know the average American has 97 points that they can can add to their credit score. Uh, They just have no idea how to get them. That's where ScoreMaster comes in. It's not credit repair. It's credit science, and it helps you get your points fast. In fact, the average ScoreMaster user adds 61 points in just 20 days or less. And getting your plus plus points fast uh, can save you a fortune before applying for a loan or a credit card or a refi on your home, whatever you may be uh, about to do, ScoreMaster can help you do it. It's also great for business owners who use their credit score to finance their business. And it's great for mortgage brokers who need an edge and love getting their clients better deals. It's great for everybody, fact is. It uh, even shows you the score consequences of spending too much or if you have identity theft. Nobody else does what ScoreMaster does. Enroll in just minutes, and they'll show you how many plus points you can add to your score and how fast. Visit scoremaster.com slash pad. Scoremaster.com slash pad. In addition to uh, some of the issues they've had with the vaccine, are some of the people getting the vaccine ahead of other people? Like Hollywood celebrities are jumping the line and getting in front. I say go ahead. Let them. (laughs) <laughs> with all of these side I effects, know. let them guinea pigs. Let them be the guinea pig. Yeah, let's see how that treats you uh, after the second shot. Go ahead, do it. What do I care? I don't. So have a good time. Then the, there we got this story of this Mexican TV host flying to Florida yeah. and jumping ahead of every everybody in Florida. All the American citizens who wanted the vaccine mm. somehow this. Mexican TV host gets to the front of the line and gets oh. a vaccine yesterday. How'd that happen? I don't know. Nobody seems to know. It's Juan Jose Oragel. Oh, okay. Well, now. Yeah. <laughs> it's Juan now Jose. Know. He's known for hosting Mexican daytime shows like Ventaneando. I love that Looking show. out the window. Hoy, which means today. That and show wasn't that good. La Raya, the ear has become a hot topic in the Sunshine State after he revealed on social media over the weekend he trekked north and got the shot. Congratulations. Congratulations. I'm I'm a little disappointed that even if you had to make it up, Pat, Mm -hmm. he wasn't a part of the cast of Maria. Maria (laughs) del Mundo. (laughs) Well, then you could have understood why he got in the front of the line because that's a huge... Depending on what role he had. he He was from where? 
Mm, he was well. He's from Mexico. Oh, okay. Yeah. Sorry. Thought he's from Mexico. He's maybe. not from Manawa. Yeah, yeah, we don't care how you get there, Pat. Just <laughs> freaking get there. Nah, had he been no, from Manawa, <laughs> Niagara, uh, that would have been that would have been really right? impressive. Yeah. Yeah. I know. Yeah. And there, so. people are all wound up that we're giving uh, uh, the vaccines to Guantanamo Bay prisoners. A what? First. What? Well, yeah, okay. Again, the, again. Uh, okay. Prisoners. <laughs> prisoners. Yeah. Well, whatever. And, but if you yes. use your, you know, your analogy. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Exactly. Yeah, good. Good. Go ahead. Let them be among the first to see how it works out for them. They mm-hmm. just uh, they just arrested a guy in Canada, he and his wife, and, and he quit his job. He was the head of these casinos. Uh was big boss guy. Uh he and his wife flew Across country. Oh, yeah, these millionaires? Yeah, they mm-hmm. flew across country. Then they drove into this small town. I can't remember the name of the town where this Indian tribes were getting uh, mm. first batches of, and they pretended to work at the hotel oh, wow. in this small community. <laughs> Did and it work? They, yeah, I guess they got the shot, but then they got busted trying to get out of there because the people were like, I don't think they work at the hotel and i don't think they're part of the tribe so is it a, an actual crime i mean you, you're not going to be put in jail for yeah that, well they right? get yeah right? up to six months and a uh, small fine in canada yeah really yeah. But i've got a question huh? if uh the mexican tv host came to america to get the vaccine uh-huh. does that mean only 299 americans are going to be able to get it see now? that's what and, and in the story in the canadian story they never say like they're they're saying they're so angry that they cut the line for this for these indian uh, for this tribe but they never say and two members of the tribe didn't get the vaccine everybody i think still got the vaccine mm-hmm. you know what wow. i mean they're just mad that they they well, went and got the extra I mean, biden told us there's only 300 only doses. 300 there's only 300 oh, people who are going to eventually so be so expect these additional yeah, 200 here we go. million doses 200 million doses this okay. summer yeah oh. and some of it will come as in early the, began to come in early summer, summer. And then by, the, by, the, the, the by the mid-summer, summer, that this vaccine in, in will the be summer. there. Now, is this one in the and summer? The order, <laughs> and, and, and that increases the total vaccine order right. in the United States by 50%. To 600 million. 400, 400 million order to 600 million. 600 million. Okay. okay. This is enough vaccine. It's enough to, ex- vaccine. to fully vaccinate 300 Americans. 300. Wow, okay. yeah. 300. Right. You're talking well, about Canadians. The summer, the beginning of the, of the fall. Mm-hmm. He missed but it. And then, we want to make, look, look that's, yeah, that's, I want to repeat. Repeat It'll it. Yeah, do it. To fully vaccinate 300 Americans. Okay, 600 million doses right. is enough to fully vaccinate 300 well, Americans. 299 now, now after the Mexican TV we assume, host. We assume. We assume. <laughs> by the way, by the way, I want to thank um, literally every member of this audience that corrected my math on how many shots you're going to have to get if 300 Americans over 600 million doses there. Two million shots per. I think I left it at like. I think you said twenty thousand or two. Yeah. Whatever. You said twenty. 000. So I want to thank everybody on Twitter and for I'm correcting two. my math. Yeah. My math. And yeah. I'm the one that's dumb. Okay. <laughs> okay. You said it, and uh, yes. Okay. Uh, but uh, there you go. Okay. Yeah. Two. Two million. Million. Two million. shots. Yeah, and, is and what you would need for those three hundred Americans. <laughs> yes. That's a lot of shots. It does seem like a lot of shots. I don't care who you are. That's a lot of shots. <laughs> that is a lot of shots. <laughs> After gonna, about a I million think, five, I think you will be fully dosed <laughs> at that point. <laughs> Am I immune yet? <laughs> After about a million five, you're like, what? I got another wow. 500,000 to go? Seriously? <laughs> you got to give me another shot? Yeah. And your arm is going to probably fall off at that point if they're putting it in the same spot. Let's be honest. <laughs> oh, you got to ask them nicely to move it, though. Give yeah. me a shot. Try the side. other arm, please. <laughs> Two million yeah. shots. It does seem like a, an excessive I mean, I would, amount of shots. I it wouldn't, does. I wouldn't noodle this out too much, gentlemen, considering Biden screwed it up from the start. Yeah, nah, no kidding. Boy, he sucks. And he's only the president, so <laughs> don't worry about it. <laughs> <laughs> this is what we tried to tell you I know. all last year. This guy is not qualified to be president of the United States. <laughs> um, <laughs> in fact, a dolphin would do a better job as the Steve for. <laughs> The Steve 42 points out the dolphins created cell phones and also whistle the Star Spangled Banner. Now, I didn't know they could do that. I got to see this. I got to see that, too. I want, I want video proof of that. <laughs> Put it on Twitter today. Proof, Let's see. I've never seen that. I don't know if they allow that anymore in, at SeaWorld, though. Uh, oh, yeah. Do, can you even have SeaWorld anymore? Know. Talk about an uh, a, a not politically correct place. No kidding, man. 
Jeffy's 18 Spoons tweets, Keith, you're a genius. My daughter mm. has asthma, so we're keeping her empty inhalers from now on. We'll go from don't forget your mask to don't forget your in- Do you have your inhaler? Right. Ta-da. Jimmy Dimples, hey, what higher taxes? If you lost your job, you don't have to pay on your income. Any percent of zero is zero. Oh. Uh-huh. Really, really good Silver point, lining. Jimmy. Uh, Saki's intensive back circles. <laughs> <laughs> Based on his age, could we classify Jeffy as a fossil fuel? I'd hate to see what Biden does with his pen. Mm. Uh Uh-huh. And uh, from Attack Yuki, time to advocate for oil sanctuary states. Mm. I declare Texas one already. No kidding. Texas, North Dakota, Utah, Oklahoma, South Dakota. Alaska. Alaska. Yes, thank you. That's great. Yeah. Welcome. And happy birthday to Jeff Fisher today. Jeffy is uh, 4,312 or something. I don't know. I don't. Somewhere in there. He doesn't even remember. He, I don't remember. His actual age, he's somewhere between 60 and 65. We know that for a fact. No, and I think he's we at the latter end of that scale. Are you getting a senior discount <laughs> yet? No. Yes. Yes or no? Yes. You are 62, 63, 64 in there somewhere. <laughs> in there somewhere. <laughs> But he won't talk about it. So we're playing a little, uh, we were playing earlier, a little Jeffy Jeopardy, because everybody's guest hosting Jeopardy. They haven't asked Jeffy yet, so we thought, well, okay, let's just see what Jeffy Jeopardy would look like. And here's the categories. 18 (laughs) spoons, milk, bougie sauces, (laughs) Coke Zero, and retrospective. Okay, you control the board, Pat. I want this going? game to happen, and I want uh-huh. Jeopardy. I want to host Jeopardy. I mean, I, I've mm-hmm. already applied for it on Chewing the Fat. Let's do a uh, let's do milk for sixteen hundred, Rob. Uh, and see what is. we have. The answer is dairy cows and mothers produce this <laughs> for consumption. Dairy cows and mothers. Could it be orange juice? Mm-hmm. No, no, no. no, no. I no, say no. milk. Uh, ding. What is milk? Well, what is you. milk? <laughs> thank you. In the form of a question, please. Uh, how about bougie sauces Ooh. for 1200 Let's Ooh, try that. Going deep. 1200 Deep in the category. Ketchup is not considered by many to be one of these. <laughs> <laughs> well, uh, that uh, that is true. That is true. If it's Heinz. If it's Heinz. Yes. Yes. Heinz. Jeffy is part of the Heinz police patrol. I, am. I like it. And if you're not using Heinz, yeah, then you will be fine. Thank you. We'll shut this place down. And by the way, for all those that are going to tweet out, well, what about Teresa Carey? She's from Heinz. What about the Heinz? The Heinz Ugh. people, the actual Heinz family, is not. No, they're not part of it anymore. They're, they're, not, they're not the. Teresa's really not part of it anymore. No. In fact, she never was. She just did the Heinz Foundation or something, yeah. which was very liberal. But the Heinz family themselves, uh, they're mostly conservative. And quite frankly, I don't care if they're all communists. Card-carrying communists. They're Their just, ketchup it, is their delicious. Their ketchup is so good, I, I don't care. It is care. by far and the Warren, best ketchup. And Warren Buffett's company owns it now anyway, so mm-hmm. it doesn't matter. No, he does? Oh, Berkshire yeah. Hathaway yeah. owns Heinz? Yeah. What? Oh, yeah. Get out of here. They bought, they bought it a while ago. Wow, they own everything. I know. Jeez. It's I amazing know. the things they own now. I know. And I think, I think they, uh, just as a coincidence, I think they own the train company that trucks the oil from canada to the u.s uh that trains it in instead of the pipeline i could I, you know wow. I, it might be just a coincidence that sounds that that very happens. familiar jeez yeah, so that sounds does. very familiar it does doesn't it so i mean i'm sure it's just a coincidence that the pipeline would close down and huh. they'd have to use other means of yeah. transportation to ship the oil huh. it's just a coincidence and and what do you use <laughs> To drive ah, the, the corruption um, is unbelievable. <laughs> you don't use fossil fuels, right? Uh, to, For a train? To truck, no, truck, uh, no. Those trains you trains, see run they run on is, pixie dust, uh, I think, right? Don't well, they that, get that from Neverland and they just use pixie dust yeah, in them? Those giant so engines on. in the hold front of the train that is a solar panel. And it just runs on the <laughs> so sun, let's, just makes let's it Let's noodle go. this out. If you had the mm. option of a pipeline, a tanker, oil tanker truck... Mm-hmm. Or a choo-choo train, okay? Which is going to be the cleanest mode to get that oil? Southward? I'm saying the pipeline is. You think it's the pipeline, I think Mr. It's know the pipeline. It All? That's your final answer. My final answer, Jeffy. Do you have a guess? Uh, the solar train. <laughs> <laughs> Duh. <laughs> 
was just a mess. What a what, mess. How about we Whatever. just leave it all in the ground and the there, ocean there you and go. not extract any of it because right it's there. all evil? How about that? we just live in the dark? How about that? Okay. <laughs> we're, we're getting there. Getting there. How about spoons for 1200 <laughs> <laughs> Let's try that. Uh, we already done spoons, spoons for 1200 Tea and table are common forms of measurements of this. <laughs> what uh, what are spoons? Uh, I love that the I love that the questions are, are the same category. That's awesome. And milk for 2000. Let's try milk for 2000. All right. Milk for 2000. No bowl of cereal is complete without this. Thank you. Have we done Coke Zero at all? Milk. No. That's a category oh. we haven't even touched. All right, try it. Let's do it. Uh Go deep. Coke Zero for 2000 Yeah, let's go deep. Thank you. <laughs> this soda brand experienced a rebranding to state it has zero <laughs> sugar. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> you know, Jeopardy's a little easier oh. when the name of the category is <laughs> yes, answered is. every question. Yes, it is. It's a, a lot little, easier. A little easier. I don't know that the person who yeah. developed this particular episode <laughs> mm-hmm. understood the premise. <laughs> but <laughs> it's really funny. <laughs> It is. Good stuff. Uh, all right. Got some tweets really here. Uh, Trisha's. Trisha's. Uh, it's just for the Jeffy version. Oh, okay. Yeah. Thank you. Because mm. they're okay, all stupid. It. Like Jeffy. Wait. Happy birthday, Jeffy. Yeah. Happy birthday to you. I don't know if we've said that yet. <laughs> Trisha Sanders uh, tweets out, was POTUS using Keith math for that presser? <laughs> oh, yeah. I think he was. Yes, That's the yes. ironic part of that is yesterday I was like, well, there'll always be someone worse at math than me as long as Joe Biden's around. Apparently not. <laughs> From Tampa, Ken, uh, need to pressure states to pass a law to not require a vaccine to travel or require to work. Okay. Yeah, good luck and with that. Uh, from mm-hmm. Amy, they'll make people who are allergic to the vaccine get it anyway, but the EpiPen will be expensive to buy uh, to do anything about the yeah. reaction. Yeah. Yeah, that'd be fun, wouldn't it? And they're all, look, they're already talking about uh, the man the mandating of if you're <clears throat> traveling. Uh, here in the U.S. on flights to uh, show that you've been vaccinated, let alone wearing masks. Mm-hmm. So, I mean, that's that's already in the works. So you're not, I don't think you're going to be able to stop it. Also, in response to all of this stuff, all of the madness that's been building up, uh, Blaze Media is offering a great discount. 30 bucks right now. $30 on your annual subscription for a limited time because it's more important than ever for our content to be seen, for your voice to be heard and for you to show your support so that we can keep doing this because the cancel culture is canceling everything it possibly can that doesn't agree with them. BlazeTV.com slash Pat. Go there for 30 bucks off right now. That puts the price at, I think, $69 a year. Sure does. 69 bucks a year. Not a month, a year. 30 bucks off right now. It's tied for our best offer ever. Take advantage of it while you can. Not yet. Okay. Oh, no, I want to know. Oh, wait. What? <laughs> I was kind of getting into that. <laughs> uh, I, first, got to tell you about Brooker's Founding Flavors. Uh, they just sent us another shipment Speaking yesterday. Of that, yeah. Isn't I, it in the freezer right it now? It is in the freezer. <laughs> what in a great break company. Room I, I am sensing some an ice cream extravaganza <laughs> at 801. This I mean, morning. We almost had one prior to. Yeah. A few moments uh, ago. Because when, when you I discover Brooker's ice cream... The only reason we didn't do it before was because you got to thaw out the ice cream. When it's delivered, it's so frozen solid it really because are. it's 109 below because they use dry ice mm-hmm. to ship it. And so it arrives super frozen at your house. So it's awesome. And it's going to be fantastic for you when you buy this. Um, people ask me all the time now, what's your favorite ice cream? It used to be, of course. Everybody knows it was Blue Bell. Uh, that oh, I was thought it because was, used to be what's your favorite word, but you're talking about ice cream. So yes, and, like, and now that's bougie yeah. compared to Brooker's. Uh, exactly. Um, Brooker's is. I was just. I was ignorant. I was naive. <laughs> I had no idea. <laughs> right. right. It You've been initiated. <laughs> yes. In in the ice in the grocer's freezer, <laughs> they've got ice cream there that's eight percent or ten yeah. percent butterfat. Then you can get the premium stuff. For 12, it's 12% butterfat. The super premium is 14% butterfat. That's super premium ice cream. And that's if you can find it. Right. Brooker's Founding Flavors is 16% butterfat wow. or above. And you notice it too. And I you, mean, you notice yes. it. It is in the creaminess, delicious. In the deliciousness. 
highest quality in, ingredients. I'm talking real vanillas from around the world and really good chocolate. It's hand-packed, so it's dense and delicious. Brooker's captures the spirit and passion of revolutionary America. When you go to their parlor, the ice cream parlor in Utah, it's really fun. They've got the the garb. You know, they're wearing yeah. the the I'm familiar hats. with the garb. Yeah, I don't know if you know and that, the yeah. stockades. You'd definitely be familiar with that. Yes, because I'm sure uh, you were in the stockades yes. back in the day. Uh-huh. Uh, so it's really fun. But now it can be delivered right to your house, and they do it with the uh, dry ice I just mentioned. You got to go to their website. They've got a ton of amazing flavors, and they deliver them right to your house. In fact, their Marie Antoinette Let Them Eat Red Velvet Cake flavor would be perfect for for Valentine's yeah, Day. You could choose a, a date to deliver by. Uh, oh yeah, on the website when you order right. when you order, and so you know when it's coming, so you're you're ready for it. So I mean, you could order it now, so you don't forget, yeah. and then it just gets there on Valentine's Day. Oh my gosh, that what a great idea! Uh huh. Go to BrookersIceCream.com. B R O O K E R S Ice Cream dot com. Click on the Ship Nationwide tab. That's BrookersIceCream.com. Click on the Ship Nationwide tab. This is Pat Gray Unleashed. Mm, and welcome. Uh, you know, John Kerry is really uh, out there talking about uh, climate change now. What is he in the administration? The climate He's the czar. climate czar. He's the climate czar, yeah. It's a good choice of words, by the way. I forget what it. the exact title is. It's not douche. that, but that's what they call him. Yes, climate they, douche. Climate douche, that's yes. what it is. That's Thank you for reminding that's me. That's the official title. Yes. No, you know, that this, is the title, right? Yeah, this, that is the title. This guy still owns a private jet. Are you of aware of that? Of course he does. Still yeah. flies around in a private jet. Of course he does. And has a 76-foot yacht. Of course he does. You see him, when he does those press conferences, Pat, he's in his tailored $10,000 oh, suits I know. Yeah, and right. his $500 ties right. and his and his $500 <laughs> shirts. It's sickening. Oh, it's I sickening how he's with the elitist Bullcrap, yeah. Person that he is. He's the U.S. Almost special presidential envoy for client, uh, climate. Yeah, the climates are. That's what it is. Exactly. U.S. special envoy. No, no, no. U.S. special presidential envoy for climate. For climate. Climates are. Okay. I mean, I'm so with sick a of private to hear jet from and a yacht. Guy, having to hear from him again. Have him back in our faces. First horse is just that disgusting. Position. And he said it was a crisis. And it is a crisis. It's a crisis. And it's it no is surprise one. for this previous administration. I'm sorry. If you really believe that, you don't own a private jet and you don't own a yacht. There's just you no just way. Don't. If you believe the world is going to end because of climate change, and it really depends on what man does from this point on, you don't own a private jet and a yacht. So stop with your hypocrisy and your lying garbage and leave us alone. I mean, yes, we want to be good stewards of the planet. I, I don't pollute. I don't throw things onto the ground from, you know, the car. Like Most of the masks. time. Masks. Most of the time. <laughs> masks. You know how many masks are winding up in the oh, ocean? yeah. Right? In A the lot. Great Pacific Garbage Patch? Yes. Mm-hmm. Seriously, there's going to be billions of masks. There already are. In what, the ocean. What do they say? One and a half billion are already in the ocean. We had a story a few weeks ago. One I mean, and a half we're billion. gonna it, what you know. We haven't found mm. it yet, but we will find uh, whales coming on shore, gagged from masks. Yeah, from trying to eat the masks because yeah. they're, they're dumb. So they don't stupid. know how to put it on. Right? They're like the turtles. <laughs> you think? Right? Okay, the turtles. The, the straw isn't for your nose. <laughs> Told you, Peter. We're smarter. The turtles weren't so stupid. They put straws in their noses. You knew this. Thank you. <laughs> when I see a straw. Yeah, what do you do? I put it in my mouth. <laughs> Straws don't belong there, but the turtles don't know why. <laughs> Maybe they all deserve to, to die. That guy, I, you know, he's retired now, but he's awesome. He is he awesome. awesome. He's retired? Yeah, he's retired. That's how old that video is. <laughs> but, he's retired now. Yeah, the kid's but, now 67 years old. Yeah. <laughs> So well, that, that is awesome. That, that is, is awesome. awesome. Really good stuff. I love it. I bet he got hammered for that. Oh yeah. How dare you even joke about killing turtles? And it's good. It's on, it's on the internet, and nobody plays it after from now on, so nobody remembers it. Mm-hmm. I mean, we just continue <laughs> Except to us. hammer. Yeah. I love. It. I love it. I, I mean, you too. can't. You can't live life without that song. Come on now. Not anymore. Not no. when you know it exists. Right. Mm. Mm-mm. 
New York Representative Alexandria Ocasio-Cortez uh, turned down Texas Senator Ted Cruz's support for her criticism of the trading app Robinhood's move to block some stock purchases. This was despicable, sure by the way. Was. You know, on the on the heels of the GameStop situation, mm-hmm. where the stock was just going through the roof for GameStop, it started at like four bucks at one point a few years ago or last was it just last year maybe yeah, last yeah, year it was still single digits yeah and, and as recently as what a month ago is in the, about 15 bucks yeah they were i mean they're they're using uh, wall street's own game against them oh, but they don't like it no Either. they do not don't do that to us mm. uh so now it's at 389 or i don't know what oh, it, it is it, right no now. it tanked yesterday oh it did oh yeah because of, everybody uh, sold off well no they or because of a robin hood right so now we're down to 193 <laughs> ah uh, darn it well, I hope, I hope GameStop got some money out of that to keep themselves going. Yeah. Because the hedge fund managers were trying to bet against them yeah. and driving them out of business. Yeah. And, and since then, I think uh, I read Google deleted, um, was it like 100,000 negative reviews? Um, and then Facebook took down like a, like a discussion group that was going after them. Uh, some, some employee we think, posted how the White House called yeah. uh, Robin Hood yesterday. And Democrats like mm. uh, Rashida Tlaib and now AOC are saying, well, let's investigate. Sure, it'll lead right back to the White House manipulating this. Sure will. And they said that Janet Yellen was uh, you know, on top of it and knew what was going on. But then we get news that Yellen got over $800,000 last year in speaking fees from this hedge fund. Wow. So I mean, there's no, there's no. Conflict Are you of interest from gelling there. with yelling? I, I, I am. I am, am gelling with yelling. Well, I too. don't miss I those am. commercials. <laughs> Robinhood and other trading platforms blocked users from buying shares yeah. of some companies whose stock Jeez. shot up. That's just unbelievable. The rally torched hedge funds that had heavily shorted the stocks, so they lost billions. Mm-hmm. There were hedge fund yeah. uh, programs that lost billions. Before markets opened uh, yesterday, Robinhood told its clients they could only close out their their positions on GameStop, AMC, BlackBerry, and Nokia, among others, but they couldn't buy any shares. I liked what they were doing for AMC, too, trying to keep them afloat yeah. um, during these hard times for them. This is unacceptable, said Ocasio-Cortez. We now need to know more about Robinhood app's decision to block retail investors from purchasing stock while hedge funds are freely able to trade the stock as they see fit. It's true. It sure is. As a member of the finance uh, Financial Services Committee, I'd support a hearing if necessary. It's, so, okay. uh, Cruz agreed with her. Ted Cruz, yeah. He was all, he just, I think he just simply pointed at her tweet and said, agree. Yes. And but word, she uh, no. is well, so gracious that she just well, she's reaching across the aisle. Reaching across the aisle for we're, unity. It's for unity. Well, let's see. Isn't that what we're all about right now? Yes. Unity. Oh, so unifying. what kind of olive branch did she uh, listen to this with? unifying unity right here? I'm happy to work with with Republicans on the ish, this issue where there's common ground. But you almost had me murdered three <laughs> weeks ago, so you can sit this one out. Oh, shut up! Happy to work with almost any other GOP that aren't trying to get me killed. Oh In the my. meantime, if you want to help, you can resign. Oh my! Oh. Shut up, you absolute buffoon! Petulant what a child. How did Ted Cruz get her murdered or practically Almost murdered? Because he was inciting the siege, my friend. Which he didn't do, yeah, by the way. By, by objecting to some of the electoral votes, that was a, a that, hit on her? I guess. That's so, so <laughs> it's ridiculous. It's funny how we've all forgotten about the Bernie Sanders supporter that shot up our... Yeah, haven't uh, we, though? We felt, felt shot up our that. Republicans who were playing baseball one day. That's it, though. Don't worry about it. Just tried to kill one-tenth... Of the That's Republicans in office. Eh, don't worry about nah, it. don't worry about, what about that. What about the siege uh, Scalise around didn't the, the die. White He's House. back. He's back in office. I seem to remember President Trump having to retreat to the basement when... Oh, uh, when he was such a coward and they right, had to take yes, him down right. to the... Yeah. How about that, too? Yes, Speaking thank you. Speaking of That's that, a... <laughs> when it was perfectly fine for everybody to uh, run and hide uh, yes. during the scary siege at the White... at the Capitol building... But Trump, okay, the president of the United States, when the White House is under siege like that, uh, he's a, a coward. perceived siege, yeah. right. And Whatever. those tweets are still out there. They're available, mocking Trump and uh, the decision to uh, keep Which, the president of the United States from harm. The hypocrisy is overwhelming. It's it really unbelievable. It, 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 Seriously. It, 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 I, Seriously. But Nancy Pelosi put her finger on something here. Okay. Um, 
And uh, I'll let you figure out what that is. Here she was yesterday. <laughs> oh, good. Mm -hmm. I do believe, and I have said this all along, that we Take will probably mask, need stupid. a mental uh, for uh, more security for members when the enemy is within the House of Representatives. Yes! Uh, Stop a, it! A Stop it members... right there! Right there! Right there! She finally nailed it. The enemy is within the House of Representatives. It's her <laughs> and her commie friends on the left who are trying to fundamentally transform this nation. She finally nailed it. So I just wanted to play that little part because she really she really got that right. It's It resides in the Speaker of the House's office. <laughs> That's where the enemy within the House resides. Huh. So good for her for noticing that and admitting that. That's great. Uh, 888 <laughs> and at Pat Unleashed on Twitter. Also, we got this from uh, Biden, because uh, Biden uh, obviously is so friendly to, to drilling. Uh, any of this drilling stuff, that's not his idea. Well, okay, yes, he signed a v <laughs> executive orders to stop sure. drilling. Sure, that's it, though. Does he know that? Uh, I don't know, because this was kind of weird yesterday. Here's what he said. And I know this always comes up. We're not going to ban fracking. Oh, will protect jobs and grow jobs. What? Except you just ended a whole bunch of jobs. What are you talking so about? It's going to prote gonna... protect jobs and grow jobs. Well, except for the ones we've already destroyed. 71,000, I mean, that we've already destroyed. That's it, though. And many more are coming because uh, this is going to spread. But he hasn't said that he wants to ban fracking, right? No, no, he has not. I to respond. Never, never said this. I oppose fracking. He's never fracking. said it. He said it on I, tape. See? I did. Who's Show the tape. Put it on your website. I'll put it on. Put it on. Would there be and any place for fossil fuels, oh, including yeah. coal and fracking, in the Biden administration? No. We would, no. We would, we would work it out. We would make sure it's eliminated. What about safe stopping <laughs> fracking and stopping yeah. new pipeline yeah. infrastructure yeah. and, 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 exactly. and no new fracking. You got to transition away from it. Look, you're going to ban fracking all across America right now, right? I would love to. Yeah, I'd love to too. I'd love to make sure we don't take you would. any oil or gas. Period. The look in my eyes. I guarantee you. I guarantee you. We're going to end fossil fuel. We are going to get rid of fossil fuel. Okay, so there you go. Uh, uh, he has never, never said he's against fracking, so shut up. Don't cherry pick examples. <laughs> Come on, man. It's not like he said it half a dozen times. And I'm guessing if you go to PolitiFact or any fact checker, yeah, it's false that he's ever said he's against fracking. What do you want to bet? I mean, it's good that we're getting rid of all the oil. and We don't need it. I mean, General Motors has already said they're going to be all electric by, what, 2035? Correct. Uh, well, I, that's I think, a I mere Biden, 14 years from I think from Biden now. wants it to be 2030, but you know they're saying, hey, whoa, whoa, Joe, no, 2035. But uh, all electric, so you don't need any fossil fuels at all if you have electric cars. GM's not right? going to They're not going to send me, sell many cars after 2035. <laughs> 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 unless, unless they perfect that technology between now and then. And let's okay? hope they do. And I'm, perfect. I'm okay. If you can get that stupid battery to go 400 or 500 miles on a charge, I'm all about it. And then I don't have to sit there for an hour and a half while it recharges. Okay. Right. Make it practical for me, and I'll buy your stupid electric vehicle. <laughs> I love it when, I when will. you pull into these parking lots, like the AMC parking lot that's completely empty, and then you see this one car hooked up to the charger. Right. You're right. like, yeah, I'm sure that's very convenient for you to spend your entire day sitting in an empty theater parking lot. Why your car is hooked up to the electricity source? Well, if there's a movie playing inside, I that know. He's at, no, no. For the two hours it takes to recharge, uh, it wouldn't yeah. be bad. No, no. The, this is at a theater that is completely closed right now. Where okay. I'm seeing this all the time. Good idea to to rent the rent a little a movie screen though. I mean, we've come up with million dollar ideas throughout this entire broadcast. Right. We really I mean, have. If you go back and listen to the podcast, really have. You're welcome. <laughs> I mean, conservatives You're are right. not opposed to electric cars. I don't think. No, if they're practical. Well, how is electricity produced, though, for the most part in uh, this let's country? See, fossil fuels. Hmm. Through fossil fuels, for that's the most kind part. That's kind of a conundrum. Isn't but that's it? only about ninety-five percent of where oh, the energy just the comes 90, from. Okay. Just ninety-five percent of the energy. Such a rare thing. So, have a good Pat weekend. Gray. Only on the Blaze Radio Network.